Bellefontaine Cemetery in St. Louis, Missouri is without a doubt one of the most beautiful and historic cemeteries that I have ever had the privilege to visit. And this is one that lives up to its hype. I've had a lot of people on this channel mention Bellefontaine Cemetery and the history, the beauty, the sculptures, and the mausoleum that we're looking at right now all adds up to just a beautiful and historic visit. If you have any interest at all in history or cemeteries, without a doubt, this is the place to be and the place to go, go to St. Louis, Missouri and check it out. We are here today to visit the mausoleum of Adolphus Bush. Adolphus Bush was a pioneer, a legend, and a visionary in the brewing industry. He actually partnered with Mr. Anheuser, who would also become his father-in-law. When Mr. Anheuser died, Mr. Bush was named the president of the company, and that really led to a lot of innovation within the company, and without a doubt, a lot of success. And a lot of that success actually centered around its flagship drink, Budweiser, which kind of surprised me. I guess I didn't know the history, but I thought Budweiser was a relatively new drink. It turns out that that drink was actually one of the most popular brews of the pre-prohibition era. You are going back a very long time, so that was kind of a surprise to me. You can see here uh, the name Bush. I don't know if that's a family crest or what, but this mausoleum was chained up. It was locked. I fully expected that to be the case, but the beautiful thing is you are able to look through the glass, and I did my best to try to film through that glass. It, a lot of reflection and things like that. It wasn't exactly easy to do, but I was glad to be able to bring you, you know, what I was able to capture while I was there. Adolphus Busch was actually born in Germany. That's where he was from. And he came from Germany over here and somehow ended up in the brewing company. Not only was he a great businessman, he was also a visionary and he actually launched the industry's very first refrigerated freight cars so he could transport his brew and keep it cold at the same time. So that is definitely something that was new to me. One thing that I love to do when I go on these little trips and make these visits and do my research and things like that, I absolutely love to find pieces and tidbits of information and of history that I didn't know about. And I was able to learn a few things on this. Like I said, I didn't know Budweiser was that old. And the fact that he was the first person to start using refrigerated cars, that was something that was news to me too. So I really enjoyed learning those things. And we were taking a look at this building and I would love to know, has anyone ever seen this type of a mausoleum before uh, let me know leave me a comment below if you have heard of mr bush i would love to read about that in the comments below too i had heard the name the company anheuser bush i didn't realize that that company was that old though i mean we're going back pre-prohibition era so definitely an old company that was news to me also so i was able to pick up like i said some some information some things on this that i didn't know myself but bellafontaine cemetery if you've never been it is beautiful absolutely beautiful i do have more visits coming from here as well but i just love taking a look at the architecture and i would love to know like i said have any of you seen anything like this before and have any of you been to bellafontaine cemetery i would love to know that as well so i love the interaction in the comments so i would ask that you please uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think about this mr bush actually passed away in 1913 while in germany and something that I thought was very interesting, he wasn't brought back here to St. Louis until two years later, 1915. So the family decided to bring him back to St. Louis. I don't know. I would guess, and, and I wasn't able to find this in my research, I would guess that it took the time to actually get this built because he passed before his wife. So he would have been the first burial inside of this massive structure. So I would guess that it took some time to actually get that done and then when they got that done they brought his body back on a ship and then from ship his body traveled by train to st louis missouri and was laid to rest here so just another piece of american history american folklore i love being able to bring that stuff to you that's something that some of my favorite things to do bring these stories that are even though mr bush was born in germany this is a very uniquely American story, American dream type of story. So another video of mine is going to be coming on the screen soon. 
please join me. I'm going to have links to my website, to my Patreon. That is going to be in my description. So please join me on that. Please leave me a comment. And once again, from Bellafontaine Cemetery in St. Louis, Missouri, I will see you again soon.